Hey, it's Dee, the Frustrated Gardener. Today is Saturday, March the 21st, and I hope everyone is doing well and that nobody has gotten sick. Um, so stay in, stay away from people. And so here I am in my bathroom, and this is my project for today. It is cold. It's about 50 degrees outside. For some, I know that's not cold, but it's raining also. So I am going to my project today um, is I'm going to paint the ins my bathtub inset and I am going to spring clean my master bathroom. So that's what I'm doing today. Oh, I am making some bread also. So um, I hope everyone is doing well. Stay safe, stay out of public, and um, I will check back in with you all. Okay, so I just got my bread in my Pullman pan and I'm going to let it rise another half hour and then we'll bake it and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So, first coat is finished and I realized as I started painting, <laughs> ah, I'm going to have to do two coats because this had a semi-gloss on it and I am putting on a mat. So, uh, more work for me. So guys, the bread is finished and I just pulled it out of the oven. Let me see if I can one-handedly open this up. I think it goes this way. Hold on just a minute. Sorry, I had to switch hands. Now let's pull it open and check it out. Oh, I love the brown on top. Look how beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. I wish y'all could smell. It smells so good in here. Okay, give me a minute and let me get it out of the pan. So, there it is. A perfect sandwich loaf. And I will let it cool completely, which is going to be hard to do because it smells so good. If you don't know what this pan is, it's called a Pullman pan, and it helps you to bake uh, sandwich loaves. So that's what I've baked, and it just smells so good in here. So I, um, if you want me to let you know the recipe, just let me know, or I may just go ahead and just link, just put it in the description box. Mm, so easy and so good. Okay, it actually turned out better with one coat than I thought it would. I think it was just the whole drying process that was kind of throwing me off. So I don't think it needs two coats. I'm very, very happy. The curtains are drying now and after I get them up and tomorrow when the sun comes back out and I can kind of see it better since it's so dark um, and rainy outside, I'll see if there's any touch up areas. Okay, well, I will see what else I can get into. Okay, bathroom finished and put back together. And I love the color. And you can tell the bathroom is one color, but then we have this that kind of sets out that has the bathtub in it. So it's it's a shade, shade darker. It was really, really dark, almost like a purple brown. And I, I liked the thought of it, but I just didn't quite like the color. So I think 
this matches. You can kind of see it better there. So much better. Okay. Well, it's a little after two o'clock on Saturday and I have some outside projects that I'm going to be planting up out here, but it's about 50 degrees and I don't know if you can hear the light rain, so I'm going to call it a day. Anyway, I'll touch base tomorrow and I hope everybody stays in and stays healthy.